Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs sonic web studios specializes in custom web design app development social networking search engine optimization domain registration email marketing online stores and more since our birth we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today mention the mike wagner show and get 20 percent off your project sonic web studios take your image to the next level hey everybody it's mike from the mike wagner show it's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the mike wagner show international award-winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mian Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web. Tom Furley needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himbley, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today and check out the Mike Widener Show merchandise, T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and also tote bags, throw pillows, and more. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including hoodies 
and t-shirts and a lot more. Go to the Me and Motion Zia store on Amazon. Go to amazon.com slash me and motion Zia and order your copies today and also support us generously at the Mike Wagner show.com. Also on anchor FM slash support and support us on PayPal and make sure you do it today. And we're here with a wonderful lady who's backed by popular demand and so popular. We had to uh, customize an invite for the third time to come out to the show. And of course um, she, she's been uh, desperately seeking um, Mr. Okay. I guess we'll get an update on that. Like um, those will um, epi epicenters or something. And um, she's also had a feature of Donald J. Trump and um, all she's been an actress, comedian, ventriloquist and reality TV personality. And um, recently featured in the Las Vegas review burlesque we'll talk about that and she appeared on uh, videos after dark and um also did some uh tea juggling which uh, we talked about last time and um and of course the uh pride in new york as well too and she's got a new book out which reveals secret to her success except you don't read my lips live ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios in beautiful downtown las vegas the amazing multi-talented and back for the third time uh, without her puppets i'm sure they're uh taking a nap right now April Brucker. April, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Hey, hey. And by the way, the puppets might be waking up, so you never know, Mike. Wake up, wake up. Hey, hey, I think we'll get them attention. It's like, can you get them to wake up or something? Oh, <laughs> oh, as soon as you say their names, they're going to wake up. That's the thing. Oh, really? It's just like, you know, you know, forget the uh, Dasher and Donner and Blitzen and all that, especially Christmas time. And I'm sure they probably change names for the time being. But um, I mean, you've done just about everything. Oh, my gosh. It's like um, you've been uh, desperately seeking Mr. OK. Oh, and by the way, how's that uh, search coming for Mr. OK? Mr. OK, um, you know, here's the thing, Mike. I went viral long before COVID-19 made it cool. The Daily Mail did an article on me, and it went viral from England to Iceland to Italy, then Russia to China to India, then Indonesia to Australia to Singapore, then, then Colombia to Brazil to Guatemala. That's right. I'm a celebrity in Guatemala. And the headline Ooh. read as follows. Ventriloquist, who splashes out 20 grand a year in her puppets, that even had their own bedroom, dumps her fiancé after he says it's them or me. Folks, I thought I found my Mr. Right. Boy, was I wrong. So I'm not looking for Mr. Right. I'm just desperately seeking Mr. Okay. And let me tell you, Mike, it, it just, you know, let me tell you about the breakup. You know, my ex is not taking it well. Mm -hmm. He calls me the other day and he goes, April, I was so upset over a breakup that I hooked up with an ex-girlfriend that I didn't even like in the first place. I mean, what can I say? He should have gone to McDonald's if he wanted to chew out of factories. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or a Big Mac even too. It's just yeah, like, or a Big Mac. Or a Big babe. Mac. And get, and get this, Mike. My ex was upset that I was seeing other men after we broke up. I was I was like, well, you were seeing other women. He's like, well, um, two of mine were ex girlfriends, and one looked like you, so mine don't count. I'm like, wow, I'm impressed. Two repeat performances at a stunt double. <laughs> And so, of course, I'm calling my dad, you know, about the breakup because, you know, like you got daughters, right, Mike? Mm hmm. One daughter and I got three boys. So I know how well, that goes. So, so you lucked out. You lucked out. So I'm calling my dad. OK, because I need my dad to guide me. And he goes, April, why do you date such jerks? I'm like, Dad, I can't help it. I want to find a man just like you. <laughs> and it's been a busy week here, Mike, because my ex threatened to kidnap me. I mean. I, I was mad. Where was this level of commitment when we were together? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, what? and then and then of course, you know, he he tried to drink laundry detergent to get my attention. And I said, listen, sucker, if you wanted to get my attention, you should have taken that detergent and did my laundry. <laughs> or find your I next one at the laundromat. So <laughs> Yeah, seriously, you know, make some use out of himself. But Mike, I knew that this was all a bad idea on the first date. Because he actually said to me, I'm going to pee on you so my roommates know that you're mine. <laughs> a pee on, that takes it literal, I'll tell you. <laughs> I know, I know. And I said, um, yeah, I said, wow, I'm impressed. You know, you live alone. Yeah, he lived alone. Like, that was the thing, Mike. He lived alone. And he, and he must have been a puppet himself, I'll bet you. I want to be like puppet number 36 in real life. Oh, yeah, yeah. But speaking of roommates, do you like everybody that you're quarantined with, Mike? 
Well, I got my wife. I got my uh, my two younger boys. My uh, daughter lives in Bismarck. My oldest son lives in Chicago. And I do got to say that um, I also work a full time job where uh, it's essential and critical. We all get along. And I got to say this is that I'm up in state right now where they pretty much actually just um, just leveled off in the whole uh the whole COVID thing where actually that uh, we, we've enjoyed each other's company for God knows how long I'll tell you. So it's just like, okay, a, I've been used to it. well, I've been quarantined. Let me tell you with, uh, with May Wilson. Okay. And if the listeners don't know, May is so dumb that she wouldn't get on a double decker bus because there was no driver on the top. <laughs> May is so dumb that she thought that asphalt was a rectal problem. <laughs> May is so dumb that she thought that an autobiography was a book on cars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here to help me tell you about Burlesque Q is my roommate, May Wilson. Hello, May. Hello, May. <laughs> How are you? Hi. So, hello. Oh, what's up? Oh, I'm on the Light Blinder Show. Yes, yes. You see that T-shirt? What do you think of my T-shirt, May? Well, I think that you should get me on Mike. Do you want to be my sugar daddy? May, May, Mike's married. Well, that's never stopped a guy before. Wait, wait. Hey, hey, sugar daddy, I'll give you some sugar daddy. Here, have some sugar. This is something to drink. This has got a lot of sugar in it. And uh, this has got some sugar in it. You want some of that? I mean... I mean, dads do provide sugar. I gotta say that, and um, yeah, on trees. They and here, th this this has no sugar. Sorry, so I can't give you water. It has no sugar. It's like if I give her by water that has no sugar, I'm doing a bad job. Yeah, yeah. So, May, so May, he's got sugar. Well, let me tell you my quandary, like, okay, my last sugar daddy died unexpectedly at the age of ninety-seven. Wow, ninety-seven! Holy cow! <laughs> And so, and so are you looking for a new sugar daddy now? Yeah, but the last one that I had, he was only 65 and in good health. <laughs> so, but you need a new sugar daddy. Yes, because it's really expensive being like, it costs 10 grand a week. 10 grand a week? 10 yes, grand a that, week? I, I, I talking sugar daddy, the chocolate candy or something? Well, I'm talking about a lot of sugar. So you better find a sugar daddy or you're going to have to get a job. Did you say the J word? <laughs> yeah, the J word. Yeah, J-O-B. Yeah, you know, Mike has a job. And so that means that he's broke. No, no, no. That's a good sign. He has a job, May. Oh, well, well speaking of job, let's talk about the show that we're doing in Las Vegas. Oh, you mean for less you are on the star? Actually, May, we're the special guest stars. No, 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 like, I'm the star. Acre just stands there. No, May, we're the special guest stars. No, 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 no. I think the whole thing look good. Okay. We're in Gorilla's Q at Alexis Clark Resort every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. And the show, if you're listening and you're in Las Vegas, also features Sean Cooper hosting the premiere show, Girls. And it's directed by Carrie Byers, who's with Follies for many years. Oh, yeah. And as I said before, I'm the star. No, 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 mate. We're the special guest stars. No, 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 April. You stand there and you sit in the back because, like, April's the unfortunate friend. I'm the pretty one. This is what I have to put up with, Mike. <laughs> Boy, this is better than a soap opera. It's like, what? Oh, it's like, as the world turns, uh, General Hospital is like, I mean, yours blows the current soaps away. I'll tell you that. This is probably yeah, better than the uh, opera, cat, cat fights going on. Yeah, it's like social media. Was it like, um, I mean, who who split up recently? Was it uh, J Lo and um, A Rod or something? It's like those two. Split up. Available. Yes. Look at what you did, Mike. You see, I've been stalking A-Rod, you see, because he's used to Jennifer Lopez, and I'm only half her size, and he, and I'll be his grace call that any day of the week. <laughs> A-Rod, you can wear me like a glove, a quitress glove, all night long. See, you're making my blush, May. What? Well, I, hey, I just want to say something. A-Rod... Used to be a baseball player, okay? And uh, are you willing to uh, talk baseball, go to baseball games, and listen to him talk baseball 24-7, 365? Are you willing to do that? Listen, he's got billions of dollars. I'm willing to do anything, okay? But mate, money can't buy you love, but it can buy you a lot of drugs. This is what I put uh, up with. 
Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just going to say that um, you really got to get in the baseball. And um, how familiar are you with the New York Yankees or the Miami Marlins? That's who A-Rod is associated with. Yeah, mate. How familiar are you? Well, here's the thing. I can speak really good Spanish. So, of course, I'm familiar with the Yankees. Ah, papi. Oh, oh, I grew up. <laughs> this is what I put up with all the time. But, yeah, this is a soap opera. Complete with the evil gun killer list. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. I, so, I, I, I don't know what to do with you too, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, but but then again, um th- I guess you have to say thankfully Donald J. Trump is not involved in this one. Maybe we'll have like a puppet fight or some like MMA style wrestling or WWE or oh, no, WWF. No, 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 no. Let's not even talk about him. Okay, Donald J. Trump offered to be my sugar daddy, and then I discovered that he was broke <laughs> see he's not an easy subject for her may may i hear a ding on your sugar baby website okay i gotta go this is but this is what i put up with mike you see aren't i a nice person well you certainly are very well and uh, talk about burlesque and uh, we'll talk about your past project we had on and uh, in just one minute and see how that's going. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for some great gift ideas, including your puppets will love, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including great books by me and Molson Zia and more, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia and order today. And also check out the me and Molson Zia store for t-shirts, pop sockets, and great gift ideas. And by the way, the tote bags are great for ladies as well. And of course, um, you can also donate generously to the Mike show.com. Also support us on Anchor FM, also PayPal, and make sure you do it today. We're here with a terrific uh, comedian, actress, and ventriloquist, and she's no dummy, April Brucker here on the Mike Widener Show. And um, and of course, uh, we uh, did talk about the uh, burlesque review with um, with Mae Wilson as well, too. Or, or should we say, hi, April, may I? You know, stuff like that. So... <laughs> And of course, before we talk about your latest book, uh, Don't Read Like my, my Lips, you we have the last time we talked, you're into tea juggling. So uh, tell us more about that. And how's that coming, by the way? Oh, I do that in Burlesque Q without May, but don't tell her. Okay, because okay, you, you got how self-centered she was. Okay, Mike, she was so self-centered. Oh my but, gosh. But to give you an idea, um, if... This is what tea juggle is for all the ladies listening. And Mike, um, you know, it, it's like have, well, and this is the thing. And maybe this is a gift idea for your wife, okay? Um, ladies, have you ever had an accidental towel slip, drop, or whoops? Well, tea juggle's the thing for you. Not only can it rescue you the next time the pizza delivery man comes, <laughs> but it may even get you free pizza. Not only will it impress your boyfriend, but that boyfriend might become a husband. Mm-hmm. And that peeping Tom, well, he might just pay your rent with tea juggle guys. And it was seen on videos after dark with Bob Saget. And long story short, I got the idea for tea juggle because, like I said, as a woman, I have had so many towel drops in my life, Mike. 
Really? Oh, yeah. What happened? You don't, you don't tie it up enough? Did you forget the tuck or is it just a towel itself you got at Walmart or um, Target or even when, K when Kmart uh, was around before it closed? Well, sometimes it's the t sometimes it was the towel slipped. Sometimes I had to run to get an important phone call. You know, you never know. Or sometimes I really just wanted that pizza at the door. And so I made a video of myself towel juggling. And it was inspired by two French guys on Europe's Got Talent. And so I put it up and I get this call from California because I'm like, hey, I'm cool. People call me from California. And it was a woman and she's like, hey, just so you know, I'm from a show called Videos After Dark. And it's more of an adult America's Funniest Home Videos hosted by Bob Saget. We were wondering um, if you'd be interested in us featuring your video. It's not a definite yet, but we would like to. And I was like, sure. So anyway, the next thing I know, I get a call. They're featuring my video. Cool. I get some money. And I'm on the promo and everyone's like, April, you're on a Bob Saget show. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Good for you. And so I was tea juggling on videos after dark. And it was a very popular segment. And no, Aunt Becky did not pay my rent. <laughs> no, Aunt, Aunt Becky, Becky didn't, didn't pay, pay the rent. Oh, darn it. It's like, you know. Yeah, and she I, didn't I, pay my student loans either. You know, it's like all this talk about Aunt Becky and the college admission scandal. You know, so much for that. But anyway. Long story short, the video was very popular. And people were like, you should teach people how to towel juggle. So now you can tea juggle. And you can learn to tea juggle on aprilbroker.tv. And you can buy one of these for $29.99. I repeat, $29.99. Get them on aprilbroker.tv. I know, I sound like an infomercial. $29.99. <laughs> you too can learn how to tea juggle. Should I say it again, Mike? $29.99. Say it with me. Plus shipping and handling, $29.95. Oh, you're bet Mike, you are so much better than me at this. Uh, bet better than what? You're better than me at plugging my own product. I love it. <laughs> what? Well well, then, then again, too, it's like many of us have problems as well, except the thing is, like, when the phone rings, it's like, pick it up. I'm sure they'll leave a message, and we'll call back if we feel like it, I'm sure. But then the thing you hate about running to get the phone call, well, it's a telemarketer or something. It's like, you're wasting my time. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's a telemarketer, um, my grandma, true story, and this is my dad's mom, she used to like, if it was a pollster or a telemarketer, she was by herself all day mm -hmm. and she would actually talk to them. And she would, they'd have to get off the phone with her. It was awesome. <laughs> or I had some people uh, get rid of telemarketers and say, I'm broke. See ya. Or it's like you sold magazines. They say, I I'm sorry, but I read, um, what was it? Uh, I only read uh, Spanish Braille, click. Or I can simply say, um, uh, hold on, please. Or you just uh, let the phone dangle for about five, 10 minutes. So I've oh, learned wow. every, every trick well, in a book. And um, well, or, or, or I just simply say, sorry, I gave it the office. Have a nice day. Well, speaking of tricks, um, there's another fella that I met, that I'm sure you met him before and he's coming back and he's going to help me tell you about this next thing. Do you like magic? Absolutely. We all love magic, right guys? We all love magic. You know, like, um, you know, David Copperfield and um, Houdini and um, I think, uh, who is it? Um, something Chris or something like. Uh, Chris uh, Angel. Yes, Chris Angel. That's it. I present to you Vinny two times. Hi, what Vinny two times. Hello. If you know how I feel about being recorded, um, I didn't mention that Vinny's here with us, courtesy of the Witness Protection Program. Oh, I see. <laughs> Witness Protection. Who are you running away from? Wouldn't you like to know? And stop looking at me like the Monopoly Man. You do kind of <laughs> look like the Monopoly Man, Vinny. Well, 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 whatever. Well, anyway, so, so Vinny is a magician here in Las Vegas. That's his new job now that he's on parole. So Vinny... <laughs> Tell Mike why you are a good magician. I'm why like are you a good magician? I'm like Italian. I'm good at making people disappear. <laughs> I'm so, still here. <laughs> you're still here? Well, I'm going to make Gabriel disappear in a minute, so don't worry, okay? This was her idea. You're not allowed to say that. You're being recorded. Oh, shut the hell up, toots. This is what I got to deal with, Mike. This is what I got to deal with. <laughs> so tell Mike about your first engagement. I'm... Um, Tell them about your first engagement. It was upstate New York. Upstate New York. Uh, um, how long was it? Six to eight years. 
Was wow. this at the Pussy Playhouse? No, Sing Sing. <laughs> sing Sing. Yeah, I mean, at, is that a place you actually sing? I thought you did magic. Sing Sing is supposed to where you sing, right? You sing and you sing. No, it's actually a prison in upstate New York, you know, but I learned how to do a lot of magic there. You see, I learned how to make some of my charges disappear. <laughs> and what else did you learn how to do at Sing Sing? Well, they also learned how to slip out of my handcuffs. Ooh, and also broke out of prisons too. It's like you did that and uh, oh my gosh, it's like, what else can you do? Well, let's just say I can do a lot of things. So why do they call you Vinny two times? Because they only had to tell them twice. Forget about it. <laughs> so, so Vinny, let's talk about your mentor. Who was your mentor? He got the Lifetime Achievement Pen. The Lifetime Achievement Pen, was this from the Society of American Magicians? No, Alcatraz. <laughs> but you have, so... Well, I, I think it looks like our magic had disappeared and just met with uh, April Brucker as well, too. And uh, he kind of did his own um, magic act. We'll try to get uh, April Brucker um, connected um, back in a minute here. Listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, Mike Widener Show is also... Um, Hard to buy our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Mosin Dia, available on Amazon and paperback. And we are going to be back with um, April Brucker as soon as she um, chimes back in and just a minute on the Mike Widener Show. We're having some uh, technical difficulties here. And um, like to remind everybody that um, you're also um, you know tuned as well. Too. You can check out the podcast over 30 podcast platforms like Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. And coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. You can also take the Mike Widener Show at the end on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And we're trying to um, you know, get back with uh, April Brucker here in just a minute on the Mike Widener Show. And um, we also like to um, remind everybody that you can also check out the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Wagner show.com. We'll be back with April Brucker after this timeout. The Mike Wagner show is powered by Sonic web studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show.
Hello. Okay, yeah, we're back with April Brooker here on the Mike Wagner Show. And I guess it looks like that, um, I, I guess your friend Houdini had pretty much disappeared. I mean, that was a great magic trick right there. Oh, it's yeah. Well, he's back. He's back. Oh, so Billy, yeah. I mean, that was just a great disappearing act. That was the fix. That was the fix. In case you're wondering, that was the fix. <laughs> oh that was the into- best i gotta say that that was the best <laughs> well that was the federal government that wasn't me but let me tell you you know you're all talking smack about donald j trump but he was willing to give me a job despite the fact that i was a convicted felon <laughs> so but tell mike you have family in the business Benny. uh tell mike about your family in the business um family business brother- yes not monkey business family business Yes, the family business, if you know what I mean. But I have family in show business. So you have a brother that is a sword swallower, right? Yeah, he gets paid $1,000 a week to swallow a four-foot sword. So Dino's making a lot of money. Yeah, but he's only three feet tall. (laughs) What about Frank? Was Frank in the business? Yeah, he was a conductor. I didn't know Frank was into music. No. He got the electric chair. Oh, I got that was shocking. I was shocked by that one. <laughs> so, so, but then, but Vinny, are you going to show us some magic? Yes. The first trick. So, but before that, are you under, are, are you appearing anywhere? I'm at liberty, except for this here ankle bracelet. <laughs> but are you, a, are, are you under contract? Contract? Who's getting hit? Vinny, Vinny, not that kind of contract. <laughs> but but Mike wants to see some magic. Okay, what's your first trick? My first trick is an illusion. I've been performing it this entire time. What is it? I'm making you look like a good ventriloquist. Forget Ooh. about it. Okay, what's your second trick? My second trick is a levitation. Look into my eyes. What's levitating? My wand is levitating. Do you see his wand levitating, Mike? Oh, I think it's levitating somewhere, and I think it's heading my way. It's like, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> go, I, I think go. I think Mike's being nice. Your wand's not levitating. It's my other wand. You know, my Magic Johnson. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Magic Johnson. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so, but do you have a final trick for Mike? Yes, I do. Now, I'm going to disappear. Like you did before? No. On the count of three. One, two, three. Abracadabra. You mean abracadabra? No, I was a hitman. Abracadabra. I'm not supposed <laughs> to be saying that. Poof, you disappeared. <laughs> oh, bravo, bravo. Good job. <laughs> so, but but why did you really appear? I appeared to get you back on track. That's my other magic trick. Because this blondie over here is like my ex girlfriend, you know, the stripper that sold me out to the feds. And what do you want to what do you want to tell Mike? Tell Mike about your book. Don't read my lips. Thank you so much, Benny. Oh, that Benny. was fantastic. Don't read my lips. And, um, you know, as uh, George Bush would say, read my lips. No new taxes, but don't read my lips. We're, there are going to be no new taxes. And uh, we're here to talk about the book uh, with April Brooker. Don't read my lips. And uh, tell us about this great book, and especially about the um, riveting secrets to your success and um, everything else. So tell us more about that. Well, don't read my lips it's a book about how to be a ventriloquist i teach you like it's a little bit about the history of ventriloquism how to be a ventriloquist the different figures how to book work and basically i wrote it during the pandemic because i moved out to las vegas in early 2020 and i expected to have a residency and so april and raft had two uh preview weekends at notoriety here in las vegas and then the world shut down and i want coronavirus's agent because guess what coronavirus is getting all the press but anyway um i didn't know how long quarantine was going to last and so first i thought okay this is going to be like two weeks and so then weeks turn into months and i was doing all these zoom shows and i live with two dogs and a parakeet Mm -hmm. um and, and no Cody, puppets? That's a surprise. I thought you'd be living with 35 puppets. It's like 35 puppets, but the dogs and the parakeet, because the 35 puppets and I were doing the shows. Mm-hmm. But the dog and the parakeet, like I was getting, okay, well, Goldie, who's the wheat, would just run out of the room as soon as I started performing. And I'm like, I'm that bad? <laughs> yes, you're, he says your range went through the roof. Oh, 
And then, of course, um, you know, in Denver, he would stay in the room and just look at me like, it's like, okay, thanks for being supportive. And um, Pat, who's the parakeet, would chirp. But then um, after a while, I'm like, okay, she's just chirping. These are sympathy chirps. Like, Mm -hmm. this is what this is. So anyway, um, my manager, Clinton Billups, says to me, April, why don't you write a book on ventriloquism? I'm like, oh, blah, blah. And for years, I'd been dragging my feet on this. You know, I was busy with work. I was busy with grad school, whatever. So now all I had was time. And so I started writing, don't read my lips. Mm -hmm. And it came out late March, early April. And so don't read my lips that this was the thing that got me through quarantine. It's available on amazon.com and through booksellers worldwide. So guys, don't read my lips, get it today. Mm-hmm. And, Help my puppets find new shoes. <laughs> and, and of course, it also has a thing on um, learning how to work with actors and uh, puppets and uh, TV appearances and uh, maybe just a few more tidbits, you know, you know, besides being uh, how, how to be a ventriloquist, how to operate the puppets and everything, maybe just um, a few tidbits about the book and, um, you know, some good advice for people that want, that want to be a ventriloquist or even make a puppet or, um, you know, or even get on a show as a ventriloquist. Oh yeah, that's what I do. I teach them how to book work and stuff. And I te- and I tell them all the things that I wish somebody would have told me early on. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking about that, par- that parakeet as well too. And um, she must be a social media expert. She likes to tweet. And of course, her oh! other dog in Denver, you know, you know, just say, it's like, you know, how's life? It's rough. Oh, it's rough. Hey, but you know what? Denver, I always say he failed pit bull school because he's all bark. <laughs> Oh, barking up the wrong tree. I got to say oh. that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I, I will say that they're not hound dogs because they ain't crying all the time. <laughs> Just TCB, baby, TCB. <laughs> but I will say this, though. Um, I do have, uh, you talk about Donald J. Trump, and I'm so glad he's gone. Aren't you glad that he's gone? Or are you apolitical or? Well, I well, I, I have I have to say this is that I'm personally tired of his tweets, and that's all I did as the president's tweet, tweet, tweet. It's like, come on, shut up, Bertie. It's like, do your job. It's like, have any of their presidents have got on social media and tweet like that? It's like um, past president, like with Reagan, you know, just writing little notes and posting everywhere, like twenty four seven. And it's like it's actually taking away from jobs. To be honest with you, so I mean, that's all I gotta say at this point. It's like, I mean, I mean yeah, it actually scourged me away from Twitter, and thank God I got. Uh, couple of accounts got blocked out it's like i haven't done much on twitter it's like i'd rather just tweet on facebook and uh just chirp with you practically so that's my chirp. well i have a i i have the president i have the current president here with me mike oh really okay let's uh go out and uh introduce him so right here on the mike wagner show and uh april brucker is going to bring out um the the 36th uh, puppet in her United States. Of course, you got the 35, and now we got number 36. And uh, tell us about uh, puppet number 36. This is Joe Biden time. Hello, Hi, hello, Joe Biden hello. time. Hello, right, nice so- to meet you. So how does it finally feel to be president? Crescent? When I was a boy in Scranton, my father said, Kelly, treat every day like Christmas, cause every day's a gift. President, not present. Oh, president. Folks, it's me, Uncle Joey B. And when I was a boy in Scranton, kids used to make fun of me. Cool Joey B for my stutter. Glad I ate my scrapple, mastered scrapple, and now I'm ready to grapple. Hi, yeah. So, how does it? <laughs> so, so, but my question is though, how does it feel after serving under so many presidents to finally call the White House home? Folks, the fact of the matter is, we need to restore decency to the office of president. Kids need someone that they can raise to a pinochle. A pinochle? <laughs> and um, you're the oldest person ever to be elected president. How does that feel? Knock on wood, I'm as quick as a whip. Knock on wood, I'm as strong as an ox. Knock on wood, who's there at the door? Who are you again? Where am I? We're interviewing for the Mike Wagner show. Uh, aren't, aren't, oh. you, aren't you forgetting? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, oh, folks, here's the deal. We're interviewing for the Mike Wagner show. And Mike, I want to tell you that I'm very proud of you for all you've done. Thank you. So, but what are you going to do about COVID? Folks, here's the deal. 
Number one, we're going to listen to the doctors, the physicians, and the sturgeons. Number two, we're going to stop telling the American people lies, and instead we're going to give them true fallacies. Number four, as a nation, we've lost 245 pounds. 245 pounds? What are you talking about? Uh, I, I'm sorry, what, what was number three again? Number four, as a nation, we've lost 245 pounds. What are you talking about? Uh, I, Come on. I, I'm, it, what? What, what happened to number five or number six? Or do we get to number three? Or was it uh, number 1A or something? Uh, that's a good question. So but what, what's this 245 pounds? Come on, man. We got Donald J. Trump out of the White House. <laughs> so, so, but your, your cabinet is very uh, progressive. Folks, when I was a boy in Scranton, my father said, come on, Joey. You gotta have a can of Progresso in that cabinet for those cold winter days. <laughs> but what about your first lady? Um, she or what about your vice president? She's a woman, right, Mike? Yeah, she she's my she's my vice president. Yes, it's like you know you got the CEO, which is me, and the CFO, which is my wife, and then the rest are pretty much serving my cabinet. So yes, it's like there is a thing CEO and CFO. It's called husband and wife. It's like I make the decisions. And she's got the money. Yeah, yeah. So your vice president, Kalamari Harris, she's a very extinguished woman. She talked me out of wearing cornrows for this interview. <laughs> Kalamari so, you, Harris. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so so but you said that your 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 wife is the CFO. So so is Jill the CFO? Folks, here's the deal. If Jill says it goes, it goes. Because when I was a boy in Scranton, my father said, Jilly. Keep your life happy, or you're gonna be sleeping in the yard. <laughs> and and how did he come to tell you this? When I was a boy in Scranton, I woke up one day and I saw my father sleeping in the yard. And I said, Dad, what happened? He said, Come on, Leanne. I did something your mother didn't like. Really? Yeah, is that is that what happened? You see, so this is what you do. Your wife is the CFO, you're the CEO, and here's what, what you do during meetings. You get yelled at and you say, yes, dear, yes, dear, yes, dear. <laughs> this is how I've been married as long as I've been. <laughs> really and truly, you know, what I do in my, you, you know what I do when my wife talks? What, what do you do, Mr. President? I turn off my hearing aid. What? 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 Yeah, that's my other secret to stay and happily uh, What? I I'm sorry, you turned off your what? I didn't hear you. What? I turn off my hearing what? aid when my wife talks. What? You, oh, you, oh you, he you, turns you, off his hearing you, aid. Your, your gearing aid or your, your hearing raids? Is that what you said? Hearing raids? Uh oh. I, I think I've been wearing these for too long. Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So 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 is that what you do? So you turn off your hearing aids when when Joe talks, but what about when your kids talk? Well, when they talk, I'm just like, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, here's fifty dollars. Go away. That's what I do when they talk. <laughs> do you do that when your kids talk, Mike? No, I just, I just, I just sit there and listen and say, okay, we help them <laughs> out and everything. Yes, we help them out. So you help us. So, so, but, but this is like how you get through being married. And so, how do you pass laws? Well, I go to my wife and I say, Jill, do you like that? And if she says yes, I make it a law. And if she says Joe. That sounds like a good idea. I don't make it a law. Can I tell you something else she did? What did she do? She put a little shock collar around me. A shock collar? Yeah. Shocking. Shocking. Wow. Ew, did you see that? Ew. Uh, what are you uh, doing? Uh, what are you doing? Panty and Roe V must be a Democrat. <laughs> so, but seriously, Mr. President, jokes aside, um, are you worried about getting older? Well, as I get older, I get stronger, I get faster, and I drink that decontaminated coffee. <laughs> decontaminated coffee. <laughs> and so what and so what are you watching on Netflix? Folks, the fact of the matter is I'm watching Cobra Kai. Co Cobra Kai, have you ever seen that, Mike? 
I, I've, I've seen a few episodes of it, and then my, my kids wanted to watch Mandalorian, and then we turned to, um, you know, binge watching Star Wars, and I think we bounced back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's almost like we we just pick whatever looks good. <laughs> so to be honest with you. Come on, Leanne. You don't ever let your kids get control of Netflix. You say, listen, this is my password, and Leanne's password is his own private kingdom. <laughs> Those are very good words of advice, uh, Mr. Uh, President um, Biden or something, or Biden, yeah, Biden. Biden time, yes, President Biden time. So what's your go-to go karate move? Well, my go-to karate move is wax on, wax off. Ah, you see, wax on, wax off. It comes in handy for yard work, fighting in a tourniquet, or arguing with the Republicans about Inferno structure. Or, or, or in uh, terrorist negotiations. You ever thought about that? The wax on, wax off with terrorist negotiations? How, how, do, how do you think uh, the, um, the terrorists have responded with that method? Well, here's the thing. President Clinton of Russia, he, he accused me of being deficient, but little does he know, I'm cool Joey B, and I can wax on, wax off. <laughs> so cool Joey B, don't you have some news? Well, actually, April has some news. She's going to be on MTV's What's My Secret on May 4th. Yeah, that's right, everybody. MTV's What's My Secret. The whole family's going to be on. Yes. And it's a bonus. I might rap. You might rap? Would you like to give Michael a rap? Sure, April. Could you drop me a beat? Sure. <laughs> Folks, it's me, Uncle Joey B. When I was a little boy in Scranton C, I stuttered. And now we're storing America most definitely. The fact of the matter is, I wear these shades. Here's the deal. I'm a cool cat. And if you didn't vote for me, well, you ain't black. Mic drop. Joe Biden time out. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Sign this guy a new deal. <laughs> a new deal. Yes. New deal records. That should be his label. But yeah, you know, I figured I had one president. Now I'm going to have another. Like I should just have all the presidents in my collection, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? You know, start with, um, Start with uh, George uh, Washington, meaning to uh, knocking the cherry tree down. Of course, you got the um, the John Adams, and of course, got Andrew Jackson's and Honest Abe, and make him very honest. And of course, you know, work your way through you know, Richard Nixon, Clinton, the two Bushes, and all that. It's like that's something you can do. Uh, you know, during this time, is like create presents and have your own um, your own White House. I mean, you got a White House with a white door. You're a star of it. It's like create your own White House. Why not? Exactly. Yeah, I agree. How? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and of course, where can we find your book at and uh, where can we find Tea Juggling and uh, all your great works at April? Well, you can find my book on Amazon, Don't Read My Lips, and through booksellers worldwide, Don't Read My Lips again, guys. Amazon, booksellers worldwide, or on aprilbroker.tv. You can find Tea Juggle on aprilbroker.tv. It's $29.99. I repeat, it's $29.99 on aprilbroker.tv. And um, if you want to come see me in Las Vegas, you can see me at Burlesque Q at Alexis Park Resort every Thursday through Sunday. And you can get your tickets at, at TicketKite.com. I repeat, TicketKite.com. And I'm at Alexis Park Resort every Thursday through Sunday. So um, I hope you sleep through and I see you there. That sounds very good. Once again, April Bucker back on the Mike Wagner Show. Always great to have you on. A very big and thank you, time. Mike. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. And as always, you're always, always terrific. And um, just keep up the great work and keep up the great laughs. Thank you. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios.
If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. <laughs>